Hello and welcome to another episode of LabForge. This time we're again looking into some of the old archives and... Ha! It didn't get me this time. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. For crying out loud. Oh. Well, this time we're again looking into some of the old archive footage. Only this time it's going to be about pistol holsters. Let's see how the, that went down. Okay, so let's see what we need to make this. Wait, we don't have any footage of what we need. Well then. Use a still picture of how, how it's gonna look when we finished. What I used was some thick leather for the back and then some thinner leather for the outside because it needs to be a little more flexible. Now you just need something to sew it together with. And you could use anything from fishing wire to uh, leather straps which of course is gonna look better but you could also just do like me and, and use a uh, yarn which was what I had lying around the house. Now that we know what material we need to use for the final product, what I did is I made a paper prototype out of some paper, cardboard and tape. Now this is a really good idea to figure out what dimensions the leather needs to have, the measurements and everything. From the paper prototype I cut out the shape of the thick leather the back side and marked out where I needed to make holes for it. I used a small drill for drilling these holes since the leather I was using was so thick. Once the holes were made I put the pistol on and checked that it actually fit. It should look something like this with all the holes around the pistols not too close not too far away still with the pistol on top I took the thin leather a little bigger than the paper prototype I made and it gives me a little more wiggle room to work with I aligned the barrel sides since that was the longest and straightest parts of the leather and the back side turned it around and marked holes only on that side for now After I've sewn the sides together comes the tricky part. I put the pistol in again, then turn it around and start marking up where the holes need to be on the other side. This is tricky because you need to make it tight so the pistol don't fall out, at the same time not make it so loose that it will fall out. Else is just making the holes, sewing it together, and when you have sewn it together, remember to test it to see if the pistol actually fits in and if it fits okay. Then you can cut all the extra leather off that you have and voila! You should have a finished pistol host. Now you can decorate it any way you want. I added some straps to the back so it would fit into a belt, but else it's pretty good for me. So, so now that I have this, you put, take your pistol, put it in the holster, not breaking the pistol, then you can use your free hand to take a sip of rum. <clears throat> anyway. Hello, hon. Yeah, buying milk and eggs. Yeah, I can do that. You wanna ask? Yeah, fair enough. What was in the box? You know, that's a bit uh, long time ago. Yeah, just curious. Yeah, well, it was actually pretty, pretty amazing. There was two really awesome thing in it, things in it. There's like this small cover tube, you know. And I, I can't really open it, but I'm, I'm, sh I'm thinking of using it for a, a pirate scope or something. It's, it's freaking awesome! Yeah. <laughs> it's um. Anyway, it's a, it's a pretty awesome thing. Yeah. yeah okay. Well, there's this other thing too. There's like this tiny, tiny remote. Who, when you click it, it blinks red. You don't think it's that awesome? But it blinks red. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Milk and eggs. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Ah, love you too. Alright, bye bye. So, um, well, goodbye for now. I have to go and buy some stuff. Probably heard that. So, if you haven't already been there, then go out to lapping.org and uh, check it out. It's a really awesome blog, which I'm part of. So, just makes it making it more awesome. Secondly, go all. Remember to check out the lab group. It's a live Google Hangout that me and um, Casa from Lab Girl, Ivan from Crow Lapper, and Callie from Camp Campus Lapper are having 
one time uh, each month. So, yeah, you can follow us over over at our Facebook group, and there you can get all the updates and uh, tell us what you want to see us talk about because we're from different parts of the world, different parts of the world, so we have different views and everything. And then, yeah, pretty much go to the Facebook group and uh, and and get the live streaming links there because. Um, if you watched the last episode, you know I'm not very good at uh, knowing the American summertime from the European summertime. So, hopefully next time we are all in summertime. Anyway, see you later.